Happy Thursday. Thanks for clicking. As you know, every Thursday we take a look at our gospel reading for the upcoming weekend. Our reading for this weekend is from Luke chapter 24. Let's take a peek. Jesus said to his disciples, these are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. A couple of things that, just to provide you a little bit of context, this is a post-resurrection reading. You might recall that last Thursday's reading was a similar kind of moment where in the Gospel of John, Jesus shows up, most of the disciples are there, but not Thomas, and has a similar kind of conversation with them, calms their fears and speaks peace to them and tells them that this is how it was supposed to play out. I think it's an important thing for us to hear. Probably difficult for us to maybe put ourselves in the disciples' shoes, but it was really confusing for them. Even though Jesus had numerous times told them that this is what was going to happen, it's like they just didn't quite hear until all of a sudden it was right in front of their face and then their ears were opened, their hearts were opened afterwards. This is how God intended it to go. There's a couple of things that I feel like are important to say about this. One is that these moments with Jesus, whether it's on the Emmaus Road, walking with him and the disciples, whether it's a moment like this where he shows up and talks with them, one of the things it teaches us is that the entire Bible is centered on him. Here he says that the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms, which is kind of a longhand way of saying all of the Old Testament, all of the Old Testament said that it would go like this. Difficult for Old Testament believers to know exactly how it would unfold, but once we see Jesus arrive, born in Bethlehem, living perfectly, dying in Calvary's cross and rising from the dead, all of a sudden we begin to see those clues throughout the Old Testament that this is God's rescue plan, as crazy and as amazing as it is. That's something else I think is important as we learn to relate to Jesus' first century disciples, to remember that even as a 21st century disciple, sometimes God's plan for how life is supposed to go in this world, it seems really odd, does not seem the way that maybe you or I would put it together. And yet, it is absolutely worth trusting because Jesus, who once was dead, is alive again. Here's our closing prayer. Almighty, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, without your help, our labor is useless, and without your light, our search is in vain. Invigorate our study of your holy word that by due diligence and right discernment, we may establish ourselves and others in your holy faith. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. As always, have a great day. Thank you so much for clicking, and I'll see you next time.